Hello everyone, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So today I have my first update for the New Decade Project Pan. I was not going to do my first update in January and I was going to wait till February to do it with Rebecca because that's when she mentioned it. This was created by Rebecca from Panning and Stuff if you have no idea. But I do have a few changes in this Project Pan that I wanted to share with you guys instead of waiting two months and then you're wondering, hold it Alex, did you not share this and now you're showing this? So we're going to get that out of the way now. So I'm doing my first update today. But first, if you are new to my channel. Welcome to the familia. My name is Alex. I'm an eyeshadow enthusiast with the Dash Your Project Pan. If that is something that interests you, subscribe, join us, and now without further ado, let's get on with the project. All right, like I mentioned, this was created by Rebecca. There are 10 products in this project pan. It is not rolling style, at least that's not the way that she has created it. Others have been doing it that way. It is a full year project pan. There's 10 products that you have never used in your collection that you have put in this project. So there are some products that I have yet to even touch because they're waiting to be put in the line to be next so I'm gonna get those out of the way before I get into the changes that I've done and the progress that I've done with the rest of the products the first product I've yet to touch is this Kerastase uh, hair cream that you put on when you blow dry your hair I have yet to touch it I will eventually get to it I have a whole year so I'm not even concerned about that one the next product that I have is my Maybelline loose uh, finishing powder from fit me I've yet to touch this as well it is brand new it's still even sealed but my powder that I have in a different project pan is almost done spoiler alert so this will be opened up I have a feeling within the next month so we should be coming into play in the next month next product that I have is Sol de Janeiro uh, Coco Cabana cream I have yet to touch it you guys can even see the seal is still on here this is a summer product so I'm just waiting for it to be warmed up where I have short sleeves and shorts on because right now my rear end is freezing the last product I've yet to touch is this brow gal medium brown eyebrow pencil this has yet to even be touched because the current uh brow pencil that I'm currently using is in this project pan and it's going to take me forever to get that thing done. Now that we got those out of the way, let me share with you guys the two products that I am swapping out and what I am swapping in. This change happened within like a week after I posted my intro to this project pan. So it wasn't like something that happened weeks later or this was legit right in the beginning. So all the progress that I've done, if any, on these two products is true to the time frame of this project pan. So the first product that I originally had in here was the Ulta Matte Setting Spray. That same week after I filmed it, I packed up all my makeup to go to someone else's home to do makeup and I accidentally left that spray there. I only wanted to use it for the Christmas holiday season and then for New Year's and then put it away for the summertime because I knew I was going to sweat those two days and I'm an idiot and I left it there so I don't have it. Who knows when I will ever get it back if I will ever get it back. So I figured you know what instead of waiting and wasting a spot in this project pan I'm going to roll something else in that I have yet to use. So I rolled in my Pharmacy Honey Moon Glow Night Serum. So this is where we started out when I first put it in and we're about right here. So we've only moved like about an inch on here. I will mark it. This is a product you only can use one to two times a week and I have a problem even using it once a week because I forget about it. So this is going to be a good exercise for me to use this up because this is a very expensive product and I want to get use out of it. It will last me the full year I'm pretty sure because if I only can use it one to two times a week and I'm having a struggle using it the one time it's going to last me a while. So this is what I'm rolling in instead of that one and it's going to take me a lot longer anyway to use that up than the setting spray. The other product that I had in here I have it right over here. I had this Purology air dry cream. Yeah. I used this sucker once and it stinks horribly. It's a mixture of like roses that went bad. I don't know if that's even a thing, but like just picture roses that went rancid, disgusting, went rotten. I don't know how to describe it. I even tried it on my kids' hair and they were like, Ew, what is that smell, Mom? So I rolled this right out. I'm just gonna toss this in the trash as we speak. I'm not even going to use it. It stinks. I have a feeling it went bad. So it is what it is. Instead, I will be rolling this in. This is brand spanking new. I've yet to touch it. This is the M Green Grass Beach Air Dry Oil Spray. Now I can use this on my face, my body, fa uh, my body, face, and hair. So it's a multi-use dry oil. I intend to use this as best as I can. Uh, my main intention to use this is in the summertime because I feel like this will be good 
when I'm done this because I have a feeling this might be done quicker than I expect. This is going to take me a lot longer and it looks nice. Like I can actually spray it on my hands right now because my hands are so dry right now and it may work. I, I have smelled it and it smells nice. So I know I'm going to get use out of this. This is completely brand new. I will mark where I am at right now, but I have a feeling this is going to last me a lot of the year. And this is a nice packaging. It's nice and glass. So I really do appreciate that one a lot. So now that we've got the changes out of the way, let me share with you guys the four products that I actually have been using in this project pan and the progress that I've made with them. So the first product that I have here is my Touch and Soul No Poor Blum Primer. So we started out right here. And as you guys can see, it's kind of deceiving because the one side looks like I've used a lot more. So I think for the sake of it, I, I probably used up like right there. So I will mark it right there. I just wanted to share with you guys how this side has more, less product than this side on the walls. But I'm going to go based off of here because I have a feeling this is where I really am at. I use this every single day I wear makeup. I don't have any other primer in any of the project pans. So this is solely the one I'm concentrating on. I want to get use out of it. It was brand new. Do I like it? Eh, you guys, I don't know. I always have hesitated to say this, but I'm going to say it. I have oily skin, but I have never had big pores. I know. I'm one of those rare people. Most people that have very oily skin have large pores. I don't. I My pores, if anything, are like right here, and I can barely see them. I have pores, but they're very, very small. Only camouflage pores. There is no way to shrink them unless you go to and get some sort of surgery done. But there is no miracle thing that's going to make them smaller. It's just products can camouflage them from being smaller. That's, that's what I've heard. That's what I've been told. So I... Kind of got blessed with that. Mr. Man has large pores, so I'm scared that the girls are going to end up with his large pores. I have very small, if any, pores. So this is okay. Would I purchase this on my own? No, because it's not beneficial for my skin type. But it is a nice product. It is nice. Here's another product that I have. This is the Benefit Give Me Brow Gel. This is a deluxe sample size, but this sucker will last me a long time. I opened this up, I would say, like the second week maybe the first week of January. So I just started to use this. I am wearing it on my brows. These last me about a good four months and I only have deluxe sample size brow gels. I don't have any other large ones yet in my collection. So this is what I put in here. This is a gimme product for this one. So you guys can see something being done early. So this, I don't know how much I have, but I do have quite a bit. I feel it nice and wet whenever I put it on my brows. Once I start to feel it dry, I know it's starting to dry up on me and there's not much in there. So. It'll be here for a few months at least. My lip liner. This is the lip liner I am currently wearing on my lips today. I have been enjoying this one. This is the Too Faced Perfect Spice Shade. Now this one, you will see the tally. I've used quite a bit of it. Um, This is how much I have left if you really want to see how much I have left. The deal with this one is it's creamy, but it's not super emollient. I can actually get away with wearing this just filled in on my lips and I'm fine top a gloss on it and it's perfectly good to go. Um, it's not as emollient as other ones that I have tried where I feel like they run out fast, but it has been moving rather quickly. But I do like the formula because it's like right in between, not too dry, not too creamy, or it doesn't tug, but it's not super all over my face. I do like it and the color is more of a warmer toned lip product, but I like that. I don't have many warm tones in my collection. I have more neutrals. So this one, I give it another month or two and it should be done. My last product and the product that is going to basically kill me because it's been in here forever. This is the It Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil Universal Taupe. All right, you guys, this is how much I have left. And if you see in the tallies, it is exactly the same. It barely has moved, if anything, off those tallies. So you know how the deal is with this product. It's going to take me a very long time. I think I'm predicting that this should be done by June. And I'm saying that because I started this last June and it has to be done by a year. This is a deluxe sample size. Come on. I use it every day. Every time I use, I do my brows, every time I do my makeup, I feel like I'm a broken record with this product, but it's the truth. It just lasts so long. So this is the one that's going to be like that slow turtle paste, the one that's going to last me a very long time. I don't know if I'll ever get to this one, but at least I have hope. I have hope. So those are my 10 products, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll put more videos right over here and I try. I will try to find anybody who has done an update and I'll put their uh, videos down in the description box because I know a lot haven't done an update on this project pan just yet because we're waiting for February. So thank you again. I'll see you then. Bye guys.